Okay, so as a reminder to you all about Billy's bike, um, we're running the Rotrex C3094 supercharger with our supercharger drive tooth belt, a 30mm tooth belt. This baby on this bike is making 22 pounds of boost. Intercooler, really, really efficient intercooler. We get a very little pressure drop on the intercooler and it looks pretty cool as well with the fin tanks on the sides. People don't recognize it as uh, being an intercooler. Um, supercharger oil cooler, engine oil cooler. Obviously you're making a lot of heat. So if you're making a lot of heat, the oil cooler is essential. And this goes a long way to keep the temperatures down. Um, out this side, obviously you've got uh, the pipe out the intercooler and back into our uh, plenum chamber. We've designed the plenum chamber so the fins mimic the fins on the barrel. Makes a nice piece of it, large capacity so that we get good response um, and make a lot of horsepower. So there you go. That's what this is about. This engine is still only a 117 engine. It's not a big engine. So 286 horsepower on pump with octane booster. 22 pounds of boost and a small engine. Awesome tool. So this is uh, the 90 mil throttle, throttle body that we talked about. As you can see, it's a neat fit in there. And the throttle response is there. Idle is there. There's no downsides. And if you want big horsepower, then you need a big throttle body. Okay, so the inlet manifold you're struggling to see. So I thought I'd bring this one out to show you. So this is the 90 mil throttle body that we've five axis CNC machined. We feel that the restriction is at the throttle end, not at the cylinder head. And this has gone a long way to giving us the big horsepower numbers that we've got with this bike. Just for comparison, that's your stock plastic Harley inlet manifold. So from the sublime to the ridiculous it works and it works really really well and you've heard the bike it idles it has good throttle response there's no downsides if you want big power then you want one of these uh, obviously we're running our TTS 7075 billet clutch basket uh, it's got lockup device on it and our super comp comp ramp the indestructible comp ramps and like i say it's standing 250 foot pound of torque 286 horsepower no complaints oh, the other thing we're only running a zippers rs468 cam so only a 468 thou lift cam we're not running a real big cam with this engine and we're still getting some awesome horsepower